Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us try to solve this problem from trigonometric equations. We have been given that tan x plus tan 2x plus tan 3x equal to 0. Now if you directly try to substitute the formulas for tan 2x and tan 3x, it will be lengthy. So our approach to solve this problem is to convert this into sine and cos and see how we can simplify that. So we will write down sin x by cos x plus sin 2x by cos 2x plus sin 3x by cos 3x equal to 0. If I take the first two terms and try to take their LCM, I get sin x cos 2x and remember x plus 2x is 3x so when I take compound angles on first and two first and second terms I should be able to get sin 3x common sin x cos 2x plus cos x sin 2x divided by cos x cos 2x plus sin 3x divided by cos 3x equal to 0 also remember that there are so many ways to solve a particular problem in trigonometry. So this is one of the method how we can solve it. Can we go to the next step? Now we have sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So can I write it as sin of a plus b that is sin 3x divided by cos x cos 2x plus sin 3x divided by cos 3x equal to 0. Now let's take sin 3x common then we will have 1 by cos x cos 2x plus 1 by cos 3x is equal to 0. When we go to the next step I can take LCM and I can write down sin 3x into cos 3x plus cos x cos 2x equal to 0. Now, this is equal to 0 and this is also equal to 0. So, we take them as two different solutions and try to write down their principal solution and general solution. Next step will give us sin 3x equal to 0. So, we know that either sin 3x equal to 0 or cos 3x plus cos x 2x equal to 0. Now taking sin 3x equal to 0, can I write down sin 3x equal to sin of n pi because we know that when it is 0, for all multiples of pi, sin is 0. So, can I write down 3x equal to n pi or x equal to n pi by 3. So, one solution is x equal to n pi by 3. Another solution now cos 3x plus cos 2x cos x. What we will try to do now is we will write down cos 3x as 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x plus cos 2x will write it as 2 cos square x minus 1 by this time you understood that I am trying to convert that into a all terms into cos so when I simplify I get 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x plus 2 cos cube x minus cos x equal to 0 or can I write down 6 cos cube x minus 4 cos x equal to 0. Can I take cos x common there? I get 6 cos square x minus 4 equal to 0. That gives me that cos x equal to 0 or cos square x equal to 4 by 6 which tells me that sin square x equal to 2 by 6 which gives us that tan square x equal to 
2 by 4 that is equal to 1 by 2. So, tan x equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. So, the general solution for tan x equal to tan y is x equal to x equal to n pi plus y or alpha. Alpha is here tan inverse of tan inverse of 1 by root 2. So, the solution will be x equal to n pi plus or minus tan inverse of 1 by root 2. So, that is how we can solve x, tan x plus tan 2 x plus tan 3 x equal to 0. Now, if you try, try to directly substitute the formula, it will be lengthy. So, we have taken the, we see, we have seen that tan x and tan 2 x, x plus 2 x is 3 x. So, when I try to convert this into sin and cos and apply compound angle formula on that on the numerator part, I can take sin x, sin 3 x common and the remaining part we can simplify by converting that into cos. This is a one way how we can solve this problem. Solve tan x plus tan 2 x plus tan 3 x equal to 0 for which the solution is either x equal to n pi by 3 or x equal to n pi plus or minus tan inverse of 1 by root 2.